All right, this is lesson 18 problem set. You should have already done the Zern lesson for lesson 18. And the first thing that we always do is read our directions. So Mikey's gonna read for us and then we'll get started. Place the two fractions on the number line. Circle the fraction with the distance closest to zero. What does that mean, the distance closest to zero? Um, what's closer to the left? That's right, which one is the smallest, right? Yeah. Okay, and then what? Then compare using greater uh, greater than, less than, or equal to. Greater than, yeah. less than, or equal to. The, the problem. One. The first problem is done for you. Okay, Mikey, now, why does number one have that particular symbol in it? Because three-fourths is greater than one-fourth because it is closer to the right that's very good yeah yeah okay so um real quick to remind people how do we know whether or not to open up our symbol to the left or to the right how do we know what's how does it, how what do you do mikey um pretend it's like an alligator why don't you put some teeth an, in there why not an alligator um wants the most fish um so it will it um eats which other one has the most the most fish and these fractions are the fish yeah so three-fourths is more fish than one-fourth right yeah all right let's go ahead and do number two so it looks like you have a blank number line but how many equal parts are you going to split it up into six why because our unit fraction is six very good go ahead and do it Start in the middle, and then do three on each side. One, two, three, there you go. Oh, that's not right. Oh, it's close that's enough. Right. That's fine. So we started in the middle, and then I'll have three on the one side, and three on the other side, and now we have six. Let's count them, let's just make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's right, okay, let's label our unit fractions. One sixth. Two sixths. Three sixths, four sixths, five sixths, and six sixths. Good, which is the same as one whole, isn't one it? Whole. We've learned that. Now, let's go ahead and put a plot point on two sixths. Let's put a plot point on two sixths and three six because those are the ones we're using now which one is closer to zero two six that's right so we know that our symbol here is going to look like this because three six is closer to one and two six is closer to zero okay all right let's do one more for everybody okay now this next one looks like it has halves and fourths so do me a favor, let's start by labeling our halves. Good, zero halves. One half. I wanna do zero fourths too. Well, I was gonna have you do the fourths on the bottom. Let's keep them separate. There you go. So let's do our halves on the top. And now let's create some fourths on the bottom part of the number line. Now this time Mikey is making a number line with fourths, so we don't have to use the same number line. Although you could put both on the same number line if you wanted to. So he's got a number line between zero and one. Now this time it's in fourths. So he's gonna label one fourth, two fourths, which wow, is equal to one half looks like, doesn't it Mikey? Mm -hmm. Same spot on the number line. And four fourths. Now go ahead and put a plot point on one one fourth and one half. Which one is further from zero? Oh, uh, one half. Which one is closer to zero? One fourth. So that means the alligator is gonna eat the one half for sure. Now the next two boys and girls, I'd love if you try on your own. If you'd like to do it the way Mikey did and create another number line for sixths and thirds, just make sure that the number lines are the same size. 
and then you can compare fractions with different denominators. Let me know if you have any questions. What do you say, Mikey? Bye. See ya. Mm -hmm.